Hey guys, now over the years we've had quite a few hacks to blockchains or even apps or DEXs on blockchains in the past. For example, Solana, most recently SUI. Now, <clears throat> SUI came to a resolution as other blockchains have in the past, right? There was a consensus vote, validators came together to resolve the exploit. Then there's a big debate. Well, does this mean that it's centralized or is it still decentralized? Well, the SUI example could be termed as decentralized by execution because it did require a validator vote. The problem is, is that this in turn could result in bad behavior in the future should different nodes want to collude. And if you have a fairly small validator set or small concentrated stake weight, this can exacerbate and perhaps produce the problem. But the question then becomes, is there actually a sweet spot to decentralization? Is too much decentralization perhaps a little bit inefficient? Because in Sui's case, with a, about a 100 or so validators, they could quickly come to an agreement <clears throat> to resolve the exploit. Now, if they had 120,000 validators, right, with, you know, all independent spread geographically, although that sounds fantastic and all nicely decentralized, they may not be able to come to a swift agreement through consensus. So is there a sweet spot in decentralization where clearly one node is extremely centralized and 120,000 is extremely decentralized? I think there is a sweet spot. I think it's a spectrum, okay? And I think a medium level of decentralization is good but you also need an incentive mechanism that's aligned. So if you have a medium level of decentralization and you don't have thousands and thousands of validators, well, so long as your incentives are aligned and you have economic aligned incentives, then this will prevent things like collusion of nodes because it's in the best interest of the nodes and the network to not collude, right? Because they will probably shoot themselves in the foot and it causes bad reputation, possible forks, or who knows. So I do think there is a sweet spot to decentralization where if it's too large, you can't come to an agreement if there's a, an exploit or a problem. But if it's too small, then you get collusion. So you sort of want a sweet spot in the middle. Now, I allude to some of these issues and discuss quite a few issues like this in my book. It's called The Essential Guide to Blockchain Platforms, and it's on Amazon. Cheers, guys.